Hello, Storytime friends. I am Miss Michelle, and I'm so happy to be here. Let's continue our theme of Miss Michelle's favorites. That way, I get to share with you my most favorite books. And for today, our story is Little Rabbit and the Meanest Mother on Earth by Kate Kleiss, pictures by M. Sarah Kleiss. Little Rabbit and the Meanest Mother on Earth. Little Rabbit heard the drums beating far away. It could mean only one thing. The circus is in town, the circus is in town, Little Rabbit cheered. He watched as the performers paraded past his playroom window. Can I go to the circus, Little Rabbit asked his mother. Of course, said Mother Rabbit, if your playroom is clean. I'll clean my playroom tomorrow, Little Rabbit promised. I'd like you to clean your playroom now, Mother Rabbit said, and then you may go to the circus. So Little Rabbit started to clean. He began by pushing a moldy old experiment under his desk. Then he tried to tidy up his collection of sticks and rocks, but somehow his playroom seemed to get messier, not neater. It's hopeless, Little Rabbit grumbled, kicking a stack of books. I'll never get my playroom clean in time to go to the circus. Mother Rabbit agreed. No circus for you today, Little Rabbit. I never get to do anything fun, Little Rabbit yelled. It's not fair. You're so mean. I'm, it's, you're, but he was too angry to continue. Then Little Rabbit had an idea. He climbed out his playroom window. I'd like to join the circus, Little Rabbit told the ringmaster. What's your act, your specialty, your claim to fame, the ringmaster demanded. Well, said Little Rabbit, I have the meanest mother on earth. Is that so, replied the ringmaster. If you can sell 100 tickets to see her, you're in tonight's show. Come see the meanest mother on earth, Little Rabbit sang. She has two heads and she uses them to think up mean ways to punish the small and the innocent. Really, said the mother kangaroo. I find that hard to believe. I can believe it, murmured the young kangaroo. Come to the circus and see for yourselves, said Little Rabbit, and he sold his first two tickets. Are you brave enough to witness the meanest mother on earth, asked Little Rabbit. She has two heads and green teeth. She sounds terrifying, said the owl. She is terrifying, said Little Rabbit, and ferocious too. Why, if you just look at her wrong, she'll chop off your tail and eat it in one bite. Oh, I have to see that, said the skunk. One ticket, please. The meanest mother on earth is appearing tonight, Little Rabbit bellowed. Don't miss your chance to see this mysterious marvel of a maternal monstrosity. By six o'clock, Little Rabbit had sold 100 tickets. Good work, said the ringmaster. Now get ready, you're on in one hour. Little Rabbit raced home and crawled back in his playroom window. He found Mother Rabbit cleaning her room. I have a big surprise for you, he said. You cleaned your playroom, Mother Rabbit asked. Even better than that, Little Rabbit lied, but it's a secret. Little Rabbit tied a blindfold around Mother Rabbit's eyes and led her to the circus. When they arrived, the ringmaster was already introducing them. And now, for our final act of the evening, I present to you the amazing Little Rabbit and the meanest mother on earth. At first, the audience was silent, and then the crowd began to growl. What's so terrifying about her, asked the owl. You said she had two heads, complained the young kangaroo. Her teeth are no greener than mine, scoffed the skunk. I want my money back. Me too, grunted the moose, who threw a peanut at Little Rabbit. Soon, all the animals were throwing peanuts. Wait, said Mother Rabbit. I'll show you all something guaranteed to terrify. You will, asked Little Rabbit, burying his head in fear. Yes, follow me. Mother Rabbit led the animals back to the rabbit's house. Welcome to the messiest room on earth, Mother Rabbit announced grandly. Stinky socks, dirty rocks, an emporium of odiferous oddities. You won't believe your eyes or your nose. 
This is shocking, said the skunk, sniffing a fossilized after-school snack. Unbelievable, opined the ox. After you conclude your tour of the messiest room on earth, you may take anything you like as a souvenir, said Mother Rabbit. In fact, take two or three. It was almost midnight when the animals left. Next time, I'll clean my room myself, said Little Rabbit. Yes, you will, said Mother Rabbit. I have no doubt about that. That night, Mother Rabbit let Little Rabbit sleep in his playroom under a homemade circus tent. I'm, it's, you're not really, Little Rabbit started to say, but he was too sleepy to finish. I know, said Mother Rabbit. I'm not the meanest mother on earth. I'm the luckiest. The end. See you next time, story time friends.